Hi everyone! In this quick tutorial, I want to show you my solution to solve the issue with the stairs. So the problem with the stairs is when we go, as you can see, the movement is very bumpy. It's kind of like very distracting and it doesn't look natural. And that's due to the IK of the character because it's trying to, to move the feet on each step and that works kind of good when the, the speed is very low, but when we are jogging or running, uh, the movement is horrible. So the way a lot of games sol uh, solve this is by replacing the original collider of the stairs with a ramp, so the movement is more uh, smoother. But that gives another problem and, it, and it's when when we stop in the middle of the of the stairs as you can see his feet is um, using the ramp of uh, the, the collider of the ramp instead of the steps so it looks very very weird so here uh, we can see my solution and it's uh, we wet uh, we get the, a very smooth um, movement but then if we decide to stop in the middle of the, the steps, as you can see, um, the feet are placed correctly. So let's see how I, I did this. So if we open the, the static mesh, here we can see that's um, the source of our problems. So you can see I made uh, a very basic collision. This is very, this is very simple and it's done um, here in the blueprint. And the only thing we need is the mesh, the static mesh with the original collider, a trigger to know when the player enters this area. And then I have a collider uh, here that is just a collider. It doesn't have any mesh, that that's the one we use when we are uh, running. If we go to the event graph, so here on begin play, I have this function that I call set structures. And the only thing I do that is relevant for this tutorial is to, um, on our collider, we are using this one, collider two meter. The only thing I do is I disable the collision because when we start, I don't have the collision. I don't want to have this collision enabled. So it's using the original collider of the, of the steps. On the rest of the event graph, what I have, it's I have um, an begin overlap for the trigger, an end overlap, and then I have this function, this event called smooth stairs. So what happens is when the player enters the trigger or the collider, uh, I check if the actor has the player tag. If it does, we know that that's the player. Then I set the variable player with our actor. And then I set the timer by event that goes to um, the smooth stairs and immediately call smooth stairs. Here in the timer by event, uh, we are looping. This is important to have it checked. Here you can change the time for anything you, you need, or even you could put it on tick, but I think this is more performant. And we don't need to be constantly checking every frame if we are running or not on the, on the, on the stairs. So the smooth stairs, what it does, it gets the, the speed of the player. And this is done by using um, interface. So uh, here, that's the interface. The only thing I do is I get the speed of the player. So if I go here to the player blueprint, um, I get the character movement. Then I get the velocity. And from the velocity, I get the length of the vector that, the, that gives me the speed. So back to the stairs blueprint. Um, once I have the speed, I check if it's bigger or smaller than 100. If it's uh, bigger than 100, then we are running. And then here I do another check to see if we were already running or not. If we were already running, I'm not going to do anything because that means that the colliders were switched already and we don't need to do it again. If we weren't running, 
then I said then the variable is running to true because now we are running. And then here in this branch, we can ignore that and just go to the true part. That is this one. So what I do is I uh, disable the collision, the original collision collider of the stairs, and then I enable the ramp collider. And in the false part of the branch, what I check is, okay, if uh, the speed is less than 100, that means that we are not currently running. And then I check um, if we were running. So if we were running and now we are not running, I set the is running variable to false. And then that's the same um, branch here that we don't really care. We only care about the true part that it's here. And then here, the only thing that happens is we uh, revert the colliders. So the stairs, I enable the original collider of the stairs and I disable the collider of the ramp. And that's what happens in this blueprint. The last part, um, it's when we leave the collider, when the uh, end overlap uh, gets triggered. I check if the wh whoever is leaving is the player, if it's true. Then I clear and invalidate the timer. So that stops this time ever event. Uh, I set the running to false because we left that area and the blueprint doesn't care anymore if we're running or not. And that goes uh, to this part where we switch colliders. So as you could see, that was very easy and simple. I hope uh, it was helpful and see you soon.